Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Chris Thorne Show. Well, well, well. What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Chris Thorne. As always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever you're watching my content, uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. So, I'm doing this video, which I probably shouldn't be doing it, but I'm going to do it anyway to keep y'all updated what's going on. So, the decision has been made. I did a video earlier about a flag that I got, and the decision is in. So, let me flip this over. You see, it says, Dear Chris Thorne Show, thank you for submitting your video appeal to YouTube. After further review of the content, we've determined that your video does violate our community guidelines and have upheld our original decision. We appreciate your understanding. Now, you know what? The responses that YouTube get make them sound like a dick, which I think YouTube is a dick on a lot of aspects when it comes to this flag and shit. Because I've seen some ridiculous shit worse than what I got flagged for the video for. So a lot of people want to know, they asked me the question, what was in the video that I got flagged for? Okay, here it goes. I did a video about this chick. Now, if I remember her name, it was pretty 404. Some ratchet dyke chick, you know what I'm saying, was just do doing just stupid shit had a tattoo on her face and everything. A lot of y'all probably know who she is because she was just a crazy motherfucker, her and her girlfriend. Um, one part in the video that I did that she was shaking her ass and she had her pants that I was shaking her ass and while she was shaking her ass, she had a tampon stuck up on her shit. You know? Now, be mindful. This like around about the beginning when I was doing my YouTube thing. So, you know, um, I was just doing my thizzle. This video, it was two years old. Now, who saw it now and decided to flag it? I had no idea, but nine times out of 10, I'm sure it was a female, and it probably was her herself who did it. I mean, who knows? I don't know. But here's what I wanna say about this. You know, cause like I said, you know, I mean, it, it's cool, you know, hey, hey, whoever's flagged right now, I'm in the club with y'all, so <laughs> I'm in the flag club. Uh, but here's my thing, though. I saw a YouTube video. I saw two of them. I actually downloaded one. There was a while back. There's a guy, I forget what his name is, and this dude was on YouTube saying that he think pedophilia is okay. Then the fool turned around and did another video and said that uh, he think child pornography should be legal. This dude from Singapore, uh, I forget what, what his name is, now, how about this? His videos was up, and nobody flagged this shit. This man actually talking about grown-ass people liking kids. This man actually talking about child pornography should be okay. And that's not grounds for flag termination? Are you serious? Then somebody also pointed me to a video, which I can't remember the name of this video, or this person either. That they were actually doing videos shaving a cooch. I mean, right there, the camera, right there on her cooch, shaving her cooch. That person didn't get flagged. And maybe because it was a white chick. I had no idea. Y'all know I don't like to play that racism shit, but it could be. Or maybe because we so flabbergasted the guys, you know, um, to see that shit that we won't flag it, you know? But still, if my video that I did was nudity, then this chick got a cooch all up in the video shaving it. That's not nudity. I don't know how the fuck that works, but apparently with some channels, it does work. So I don't know, man. So let's see. Today's the 11th. So if I do my calculation right, if nobody else fuck with my shit, I should be able to stream again around February the 11th. And that's a few days right before my birthday. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> <laughs> that's a few days right before my birthday because my birthday's on the 14th of February so if my calculation is correct 
Free Red 11. Now she ready to stream again. Now I was told there's a way I could keep appealing this video. I don't know, I never done them before. But if it is an option, I mean, I may try it again, but I don't see where can I get with it, you know what I mean? Because the action is there, so I don't see where can I get with that. So, but anyway, though, um, I still got people saying something about making a backup channel. Like I said, I don't know. I haven't made up my mind about that yet. You know, but uh, then I had a couple people asking, you know, you still going to do your thing on YouTube? I mean, damn, on Facebook, right? Yeah, I'm still doing my shit on Facebook because, you know, I'm going to tell you all this. A lot of y'all don't have Facebook's a Facebook account, but I can tell you now, when I do my streams over there, I mean, I'm bidding my audience. It's kind of hard, you know, because the same thing with YouTube, the notification don't go out as much, so I got to, like, invite people, invite people, invite people, and probably even then, they probably still don't get it. You understand? So, it's a hard process, but over there as well, you know, once I get through with the show, you know, you have a whole shit lot of people that come and watch it. You know, so, uh, and it's much peaceful over there for some reason. You know, you don't get no bullshit. Everybody goes along with the content. Everybody get along with each other, you know. So, I never, I think probably a couple of times I had a phone call show on Facebook and it went pretty well, you know. So, uh, yeah, maybe I just need to take my shit over there. Well, I've been saying I'm going to do that. I'm taking my shit over there because YouTube can't fuck with my views and my likes and shit when Facebook don't fuck with shit. Whatever I earn. I earn, they don't take it away, you know, and that's the way it should be, so, nine times out of ten for my live streams, if you want to see any stories I'm going to do or whatnot, you know, hey, you can catch me over there on Facebook, but if not, you know, depending on the story, you know, seeing I got to be careful now, but depending on what the story is, I will upload it to Facebook, <laughs> shit, I will upload it to YouTube, <laughs> so y'all can see the stream that I did on um, Facebook. Now, last thing I want to say, I'm getting on out of here. You know, uh, people like, you know, hey, Chris Storm, man, you don't do nothing. You don't bother nobody. You ain't got no problem with nobody, man. You a good dude and all that. Well, that may be true and dandy. But as we all know, those are the main people who get fucked with. That because you a cool guy, you laid back, that don't mean people's not going to fuck with you. And those are the main people who get fucked with. You know, uh, versus then people who actually are here doing harmful shit on YouTube and bringing out harmful and hateful content where they shit don't hardly get touched. I mean, people embrace that, but you know, people like me, you know, who don't go for the drama shit, who just do try to do pure positivity, you know, uh, when I'm doing my streams and my videos and shit, you know, we tend to get fucked with. Not only that, you know, I mean, you get probably a small audience versus when somebody got some drama going on. But hell, I've been preaching there for the longest, so that ain't nothing new, you know. But the little small audience that I do be having, I can say this, you hardly ever see trolls in that little small audience that I do have. So that's one thing I am going to miss is that, you know. But anyway, again, the decision has been made. You two got me on lockdown right now. Like I said, if I was making another channel, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't made that decision yet. But I, I, don't, I don't know. I'll probably say the doubt that I will, though, because I ain't got time for it. Cause, yeah, I ain't got time to kind of get flagged back and forth. And whoever flagged them is going to be following me, flagging my channels all over the place because they got burnt hurt. I hate, I hate saying this shit because I got their feelings hurt about something that I said in the video, you know. So, anyway, thank y'all for the good time. <laughs> Thank y'all for the good two-year run without no problems. But, hey, I guess everybody get that one. And it's my turn. So, other than that, thank y'all. You know what I'm saying, man? Look, stay positive out there. Do your thizzle. And I'll see y'all in 90 days. Your man, Chris Thorns. Hey, peace out. For sure.